Hello and welcome to this Unreal Engine 4 tutorial that will show you how to make a water material or more precisely how to make a simple body of water really fast and really easy. So first of all this is my level, I'm already in it. It's a small project I've been working on for some time now. We're still in select mode and as you can see we have a small hill around here, it's a mound that has some flowers on it and my plan is to add a simple small lake here and showcase to you how you can do the same really fast. And I already have a video that showcases some water surfaces and something really similar to this but I'm going to show it directly right here so that you can do the same in a matter of minutes. First and foremost you will need a plugin that will allow you to get this these are different kinds of water surfaces. To do that you will need to install additional plugins which you'll find here by simply searching for water. And this is the plugin you want. As you can see, fuel suit of water tools and their entity technique. It's easy to add ocean, river, lakes and custom bodies of water to car the landscape and interact with gameplay. I already have that installed. You will need to install it, add it, restart your Unreal Engine. And then when you simply search here in place actors water, you will get a lot of different options. Now as you can see these are pretty impressive and offer all kinds of options right here. Many of them are already preset but I'm going to show you this one. Add body, water body custom. I'll drag it here and once it's in the scene you'll probably get nothing besides that. But when you drag it up there it is. It's a simple water surface that already comes with some preset animations, some of its visuals and everything else that at this point looks pretty unusable but I'll show you how you can make it very effective in a really short amount of time. So let's place that here and let's go into foliage mode. I want to delete all of these flowers. I already have that foliage selected and I'm going to erase it so we get kind of a flat clear mound. Then I'm going to go into landscape mode and I'm going to create a small indentation here that should, as you can see the surface is pretty flat, that should in a way simulate a simple basin for my small lake. To do that I'm going to press around here and create as you can see a sort of a hole with a fixed ground then I'm going to flatten the edges and I'm going to leave something of a ramp here so that my player character first person player character can exit the same space otherwise the other parts of that hole will be too steep. So there you have it. Let's check it out in the game. I'm going to go back to the select mode. I'm going to select my player capsule, put it almost at the edge of the same hole. Let's see, it needs to get a bit further. Customary shot and here's the hole. As you can see it's pretty uneven but it has a uniform upper edge which will be the top of my lake. And here is the body of water. As you can see it has that animation, it has some rippling effects, it has some translucency and many other cool stuff that makes it instantly usable. Now I'm going to go back to the edit mode, I'm going to go back to select, I'm already at select and I'm going to pick up this surface and place it on top of the same hole. Now when I do that as you can see it simply adds it on top of it and it looks weird and unusable but I'm going to place it right at the level of the edge 
and then I'm going to expand it through the R command or you can simply select it through the editor and I'm going to make it bigger that way the same surface will cover the entire space of the hole I just created now I need to make sure there are no edges sticking out that are visible as you can see there are some edges here so I need to submerge it a little bit more and there it is as you can see this kind of a pond is now directly in the same hole all of the edges are underneath the terrain thus making them invisible let's check it out now in the game and there we have it there is the same surface when I get into it I get submerged as well you can see even the reflections from the main point of light which is pretty amazing all pre-packaged all pre-created and I can easily exit it I can also see the bottom of the same pond and I can also change the color and other parameters of the same body of water I'm going to go back to select I'm in select I'm going to find the body of water and then I'm going to edit its material that way I'm going to be able to change some of its characteristics there you have it as you can see it's bluish but I'm going to try to edit things like foam emission and stuff like that but more precisely I'm first going to change its absorption that's your easiest way to change the color of the same lake so I'm going to place it into something drastically different it's still see-through to a point so it's not going to be a huge change but I'm going to make it a lot more blue so there you have it it's a drastic tint of blue and let's see if I can change some of the parameters of the foam I'm going to add some foam opacity and I'm going to leave everything else as is I could also edit other elements here of the foam but I'm going to only add the higher level of opacity here and I'm going to save it you can also play around with every other aspect of the material which will directly present itself in the game as well or in the level and there it is there's my pond it looks pretty freaky and if I take my character again you can see that the same opacity of foam produced a really weird purplish kind of um, effect as well as the see-through of the material be not below it which is green and the main body is deep deep blue again the reflections are here and everything else is here as well when I enter it and I change my perspective I can see foam is forming but in really small amounts you can see it on the edges I can also increase it and do everything else in not just that part of the editor which is related to the material but also in the same editor more precisely the general editor of the water body custom here you can access many other elements of the same element you added to the scene as you can see you have your terrain and waves rendering where is the material as well so this way you can edit whatever you like in the same water body and create it in a way that suits you right now as you can see the result is pretty fast and pretty effective in only a couple of minutes you add a water body to your scene to your level and it looks great 
So hopefully you found this video useful. Hopefully you can apply it to your projects. Thank you so much for watching. If you're a first time viewer and you like to learn about Unreal, especially if you're a beginner, please subscribe to my channel. I would love you have you around for my new videos as well. Don't forget to leave a like as well or share this video with someone who will find it useful. That's all for me. My name is Ivica. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lot of fun in Unreal Engine 4. Create some amazing things and I'll see you on my next video. Until then, bye bye.